will pick up in this one third quarter. Tech women up 359-56 and it's Brittany Justice pulling up from the top of the key. Count it six point game into the third now and it's Savannah Shamblin with a pull up jumper of her own. Golden Bears up 10 after three quarters 68-58 but Brescia Bearcats would keep it close. Cassidy Moss with a steal and takes it coast to coast for the fast break layup. Five point game with 138 to go. Bearcats need a stop now, but Savannah Shamlin delivers the dagger in the form of an assist. Al Al Alexandra Combs finishes. The girls win it 83 to 77 and improve to 9 and 8 on the season. Meanwhile, WV Tech men were also in action. 14 and 2 on the season, looking for win number 15 as Boone drives to the hoop for the fast break layup. Tech with the early lead in this one. On the other end, Dylan Geralds to Coyote. Baku who slices to the basket for 2 10 7 the Bearcats in it, but that's when Dominic King catches fire draining the wing three seven point lead 20 to 11 and the junior from Charleston would stay hot this time from the corner 23 15 Golden Bear still ahead and then Boone with a nice feed to Isaiah Morgan who finishes the tough layup and draws the foul but Brescia are the ones who pull off the upset in a 102 98 high scoring affair but WVU Tech they weren't the only team in Beckley tonight hosting a game. Woodrow Wilson boys were also at the convention center. Bryce Radford and Woodrow Wilson hosting the Capitol High Cougars. We pick up first quarter and it's Carotene Hill who finishes with a nice jumper. Cougars with an early 2-0 lead, but Bryce Radford responds right back. First with the pull up J for three that finds nothing but net and then with the drive and the nice finish off the glass to bring Beckley within two five seven the Cougars with the early lead. 115 left in the first now when Ethan Kent finds Hill and this time he connects from distance to take a 15 12 lead. So we go to the second quarter. It's Radford find Aiden Eintz in the corner for the triple that hits as Woodrow Wilson take a 17 15 lead and they go on a little run. Radford to Danny Bickney. You guessed it. Another tray. 2015 and then Radford finds Bickney again. Corner three, cash. 23-18, Woodrow Wilson ahead, and this one would go down to the wire. Woodrow Wilson win it in overtime, 90-84. to Greenbrier East girls hosting Woodrow Wilson. Autumn Hill honored pregame for reaching 1,000 career points last week. In the first, Colby France over to Liz Cadle. Open three on the right wing. Count it. And Beckley has the early lead. The Lady Spartans answer though. Emma Dodson to Kate Perkins to Abby Barton. Slogger for the basket off the glass. But Woodrow Wilson keeps the early momentum. Cadle brings the ball across midcourt. A one-hand pass to France who connects for three. And the Lady Fine Eagles lead by 11 after one. In the second quarter, Greenbrier East begins a rally. Autumn Hill receives the pass on the left wing. She drives toward the right side of the paint, scores and draws the foul later in the second. Now Hill over to Donson in the corner and she'll find Haley McClurg open for a long two on the left side. Part of a double double for McClurg. Woodrow Wilson would lead by three at halftime, but Greenbrier East come from behind to win it at home 65 to 47.